I have been told off in the past for believing the hype around the possibility that the state pension will be scrapped. And whilst I don't think they'll just take it away, because for people like me and the people around my age who have an expectation of having to state pension because they've paid into their national insurance their entire working lives. Um, I don't think that they'll, they will be able to do that. However, there may be a stealth tactic here, which is simply that in order to deal with the problem of too many people retired and potentially, you know, there are not, not enough people paying back into the system to pay for those pensioners, they may just change the age of retirement and if they up the age of retirement less and less people are going to hit the state pension age because they will die and in order to bridge the gap of whatever the ages that they want to retire who wants to work until they're 75 years old so in order for people to bridge that gap if the retirement age is extended out people will just have to find other ways to fund the gap. So let's say that they decide to make the retirement age 75 before you can get the state pension. If you still wanted to retire at 67, 69, 70, you didn't want to keep working into your 70s, you're going to have to find other ways to fund that. And that will be probably private pensions, investments, savings, whatever you can do, if you can do it. Not everybody can. A lot of people will still be reliant on hitting that state pension age before they can retire. And that kind of brings up another question for me, which is, and am I going to run out of money? So the forecast for the state pension, which will be 2041, the, the pension system tells me that... Um, it would be around about £13,495 with inflation over 20 years, provided it was at 70 and provided it continued in the way it does now. Now, that obviously is not going to be enough to live on in 20 years' time, retired or whatever. Um, so I have the private pension. I've already got my forecast on that and I know as of now how much I can afford to put into that based on my limited income based on savings I already have that I am putting in. So it reckoned that in 20 years I would have a total fund of about £72,000 which is not a lot. Now I've opted for taking that private pension at 70 but not taking the 25% drawdown and looking at that £72,000 fund breaking it up into 20 years and imagining that I hit the retirement age, um, I start withdrawing and it stays at £72,000. Let's just give that as an example. And that would give me a total income per year of 3620 which I could use to top up the state pension. Now the reason I've decided not to take the 25% is because it's a small fund I would like to get something from it, but I also need it to continue to earn so that it, I can string it out as long as possible because that money is not a bottomless pit. So that would be £3,620 on top of what potentially would be the state pension of 13495 I also have a stocks and shares ISA, which based on what I'm putting in at the moment and based on what I can afford to put in over the same term of 20 years because I'm treating it like an additional pension, I could potentially get a withdrawal of £2,650 a year but the fund, what's left in the fund will continue to earn provided, you know, nothing, everything doesn't crash through the floor and the fund is there. I've also thought about earning. Can I still keep working after I hit 70. Now I reckon I picked an arbitrary number of could I earn £4,000 a year. Let's, let, let's presume I don't want to do a manual job, a hard job, maybe my health isn't so great. 
could I continue to earn from doing surveys on my smartphone? Could I keep earning from other passive income, like other savings I have? Can I keep my bills really low? With, with the state pension, with a small withdrawal from the private pension, with a small withdrawal from the ISA and potentially with income, that could give me a retirement fund of £23,700 a year or thereabouts. But of course all of this is based on, on the retirement age, the state pension retirement age being 70. If they push it up five years, this is the number they talk about, let's say 75, that means I'm going to be down 13,000. That means I'm going to be back down to that income of around 13,000 pounds a year, which is not going to be live honorable in 20 years time. Now, I'm trying to forecast way into the future, like so far into the future, and it's impossible to know exactly what's going to happen. But it gives me some parameters to work with and it makes me realise how hard or not hard I need to work. Now don't forget as well, I don't know what the personal allowance will be in 20 years time, but I will be taxable on some of that 23,700. I will be taxable on that state pension, I will be taxable on that private pension, which is why focusing on the ISA as that additional income is probably a good idea because it's untaxable. So that would mean that I could get more of the money back. So I'm keeping my private pension at um, minimal, putting in minimal amounts of money so that I hit the the pension, um, the government extra 20% that I get. And this is all based on current numbers. Um, and if I put, if I focus on putting more extra money if I get extra savings or extra income and putting that into the ISA that becomes a tax-free savings pot and it's also accessible so if something happens it's not locked away until I'm 70 I can get access which takes a little bit of the fear out of it of course like anything that's on the st uh, stocks and shares things can go down as well as up and I am learning from having both those types of accounts now, how quickly things can change. You know, I can look one day and see that my funds have lost money and then I go back a week later and they've gained money. It's very volatile, it's very up and down, nothing stays the same for a week. So I'm learning how those things will change. But will, so, so will I run out of money? Is 20 years going to be enough if I start taking those funds out? at 70 that would mean I was 90 will I live longer than 90 and have nothing to live on is the state pension even going to be there will they make that age of state pension even higher there are so many unknowns um, there is also a phrase which is live rich it's kind of like uh, live rich don't die rich you know because you can't take it with you when it's gone I don't really have anyone to leave money to, I don't have a partner, I don't have children. Um, it's not down to me to fund my brother's kids. So all I care about is having enough money to live. I don't care what's left afterwards. And who knows where that will end up, who knows how things will change, you can never tell. So it's all a lot of unknowns really, but I'm, I'm trying to stay focused on the retirement at 70 and I know that I probably need to grow my private pension and my stocks and shares ISAs more to cover any shortfall should that not happen and I've got 20 years I'm not panicking about it because it's a long way in the future literally anything can happen but it's always a good idea to just keep information in your sights for the future because you never know what is going to change. Always remain flexible on how your plans might change. Who knows? I might not even hit retirement. If they keep raising the age, I might never get there. If something happens to me, I might not get there anyway. So it's very much a set of ifs and buts and 
you can only plan for what you can plan for. But it's well worth keeping that in sight that you cannot guarantee that you will get to what will 69, 70 and you're going to get a state pension because they might increase that age and you're going to have to work even longer. Can you do that? Can you even do that? I was reading an article the other day that said the age of healthy working is about 63 and after that age people's health tends to go downhill to the point where they need more medical help and they can't work and they say that there's this this there's this really scary financial gap between that age 63 and when people can start claiming you know state pensions and other other pension pots and they're not providing for this potential gap in the middle where they're too ill to work but they're too young to retire so that's something else to consider. Can you bridge that gap? I think they said that the amount of money that people probably needed to bridge that gap was something like £35,000. And most people won't be allowing for that. So these are all other things that you need to keep considering for. The advice here is never take anything as a given. Plan for all eventualities if you can. And I'm going to try and do that with what I have available to me at the moment and what may be available to me in the future. But again never assume anything until it actually happens because you never know.